but to be is to neither struggle in life or in death. Understand that to be, you have transcended life and death. In a very similar way, there is neither good nor bad. To the pure, all things are pure. This pureness is neither good nor is it bad. When people, when the Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Good teacher, he said, Who, do you, who are you calling good? In essence, what he's saying is, is that the idea of good and bad is a dualistic principle. And the realization of what we really are there is no more good or bad. There just is. Isness supersedes and transcends all good, all bad, all life, all death. Isness transcends life and death. The struggle to live is what we've done in a fallen state, in a state of duality. It's as if, uh, as I've said many times to you guys, it's as if we're in a war with ourselves. This higher self continually trying to transcend the ego. How many of you guys have gone to war with your ego? And you hear, you hear me then say my little annoying voice in the back of your head, the thing that you struggle against, you empower. And you're like, fuck Silas! Ah! you say my ego this thing is driving me crazy and I say what ego this ego is not real and then I talk about the ego as if it is it's all very confusing and yet it's the most simple thing ever the moment you realize your true nature the higher self and the lower self are no longer real there is no high and low. There's just the true self. High and low are just words we use to describe from a state of duality. Life and death we use to describe from a state of duality. There is the life that transcends death. there is the eternal life but this is not life like living this is not life like I'm alive now and I'm dead later eternal life the life that Jesus talked about is to simply be Apart from concept of life, apart from the effort to live, effort involved in living is just fighting, dying. The more you fight for immortality, the more you struggle to have life, and you just simply realize the struggle to have life is simply the struggle against death. To acknowledge it is to empower it. To fight against it is to empower it. Let go. The tree's not fighting against death. It's very natural. The same way you watch the waves roll up. Shannon, when was the last time you were at the ocean? A week ago. Okay. Kind of figured you you've probably been to the ocean more recently than the rest of us. We've got to drive about three and a half hours. So, um, I'll ask you a question. Were the, were the waves struggling 
to to roll in? No. No? No one's struggling. It just happened. Just happening. Just mm-hmm. just happening. And it happens over and over. It's not struggling at all. The ocean is not struggling at all to be, despite being polluted, despite being full of trash and and pollutions of various kinds. The ocean is still not struggling to be. It just is, it's just like the oak tree in my on my property here. It just is. Isness is the key to immortality, is the secret to immortality. Isness.